lot of times after a lot of uh, cancellation and postponement. So absolute hearty, absolute hearty appreciation to uh, Michael Dato who came, you brought heart and vulnerability and openness and we appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who came today because uh, who attended that session because you guys asked the really nice questions, introspective, thoughtful. So that is very good. I feel like I have an opportunity to get to know a lot of you guys now. So that's wonderful. So let's talk about today. Today, guys from uh, Kinume will be joining in the evening. The, around the time where we usually have our guest talks, it will be a and a session and they will be discussing the week's challenge. You'll have an opportunity to ask whatever questions or concerns you have about the challenge or about the industry or about the task or about everything uh, going on there. So I'm really looking forward to it and I hope you are as well. So that's an exciting thing to look forward to. Okay, great. Uh, I want you guys to raise your hand. How many people find the Q&A sessions helpful? Just raise your hand. If you find the Q&A sessions helpful, just raise your hand. Deborah, I see you. Simensh, I see you. Uh, Fumbani, I see you. Khairat, Azaria, wonderful. Great. And those are the reasons why Nabi, I see you as well. And, and Amon as well. So uh, guys, those are the reasons why we bring those Q&As consistently. Whatever it is we are able to do to provide you an opportunity to just go forward and conquer the world and conquer the new industry, which sometimes is, is strange for a number of you, we will do that. So I'm excited for that. And I hope you guys are as well. So we've got that. So let's talk about the interims. The interims deadline was yesterday. Two things that I'm going to start by appreciating is the fact that all of you submitted a GitHub link, okay? So that is something to appreciate and to celebrate, okay? We've come a long way, guys, so that's wonderful. Uh, a huge majority of you also submitted the interim report. So that is wonderful. That's definitely something to appreciate. Great, great. So let us talk about how we found the interims what are some of the concerns we have as we head towards the final submissions what are some of the challenges we also have with the non-technical assignment and i will also say guys i've never held a two-hour tutorial but yesterday we stayed on so we stayed on and you guys asked questions and there were thoughtful introspective questions which means that we can really look forward to reading those interim sessions uh those non-technical sorry not interim non-technical submissions with you guys next week so there's that okay so uh great now let's talk about any concerns or blockers you have either with the technical challenge or with the submission with the final submissions let's talk guys and I want, uh, I'd like for people to volunteer to go. If not, I'll just start choosing. I'm going to start with Deborah. Deborah, good morning, Deborah. Good morning, Cindy. How are you today? I am good, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Uh, first of all, are you ready for the AMA after this? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm a ah. little scared, but yeah. Uh -huh. Good. Now, it tells you that this is a moment of growth, okay? So tell me, okay. uh, how did you find the process of, uh, how are you finding the challenge? You submitted a GitHub link like everyone else, but are there any blockers you have when it comes to finishing the challenge or even the non-technical as well, preparing for interviews and things? Give us an update on where you are at in the entire process so far. Um, yeah, uh, we had a, a, a meet with uh, mm -hmm. my group mates uh, yesterday okay. and the day before mm -hmm. that. Uh, mm -hmm. We discussed uh, some concepts, but mm -hmm. implement oh, as always, mm -hmm. implementing uh, the concepts is mm -hmm. is a bit hard. But I hope okay. we'll figure it out by okay. Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, what's hard about the implementation? That's an angry dog, Deborah. Could you tell us a bit more about the challenge you're facing with the implementation? Sorry about the noise. It's okay. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, just 
understanding the concept and just implementing it using mm -hmm. the packages available mm. and asking the right questions and imposing the assumptions to get the causality inference. Mm. Okay, so do you find the process of, do you find it challenging or do you find it workable or both? I think both. I, I, we have been seeing some implementations that are already mm -hmm. been, uh, mm -hmm. that are already out there. So mm -hmm. okay. I hope it's doable. Okay, and and it, I'm wanting to believe that it is. Okay, thank yeah. you, Deborah. Okay. So Mensch, you're up next. So Mensch, Demilash. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Talk to me. Okay. So, like Deborah says, I, uh, we had a meeting with my my group mates and we discussed. Mm -hmm. So, but for myself, until the Yababal tutorial, I, I had some confusions. Mm -hmm. So, and now I, it's clear for me now. Okay. So, I think for final, for mm -hmm. the final submission, we'll do beta. Ah, great. That's wonderful to hear. Uh, have and you checked... Have you started with a non-technical assignment, Simej? Yeah, I, I will do that today. You'll do that today? Yeah. Okay, great. Not a problem. And, uh, uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, I have uh, one question for you or okay. Aaron, maybe mm -hmm. if he is. So that is, how can I, I develop so the, ha the habit of asking good question? So... Mm. So that means, I mean, that do you think that uh, asking question is enough? So. Yeah. Let me ask you, uh, what does a good question, when you say good question, what is a good question to you? What feels like a good question for you? So I feel like it, it has to be related for mm -hmm. the session and the topic. Okay. What else? So that's. I understand, like. Okay, what else? What else is a good question for you? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, asking target question. So, I mean, the target means so it has to be related mm -hmm. on the topic we mm -hmm. we are discussing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to give my comment on that question, then Arun can give his. Here's the thing about questions, yeah? So long as it is related to the conversation at hand, and... I don't think there are any silly questions, okay? You can ask as much as you want to the extent it requires you to understand a specific concept or a specific idea, okay? If you do not understand something, you ask. Because the more you ask, if you feel like it's clarification you need, you will get clarification, okay? But you also ask the room, so I'll just wait for him to give his idea on what a good question and how to ask the question. You're muted. Yeah, I think it's one of the hardest things uh, to quantify. And so we started to think about how do we write this down. Um, I would encourage you. So I think part of asking a good question is that you have, if you have absolutely no information, if you've never seen the ocean, you probably, um, it's hard to even ask a question about the ocean. If you don't have no idea of what's possible in terms of scale of water, power of the waves. Um, I don't know how many of you have actually seen the ocean. I think there's some countries um, where maybe you haven't seen the ocean, but it's very difficult to ask something you don't know anything about. And so I think it's useful uh, to first think about how much do I already know and start to build a framework of what, what do I even need to know to ask a meaningful question. And so I think it's absolutely true. It's always good to ask, um, but I think when we get to the point of a very, maybe let's walk away from the term a good question, a very productive question to get towards a goal, you must have some level of uh, information already. So last week, when I was listening to the talk that we had with Pivot Bio, some of the really good questions, they people already knew something and they could say, I know this, but I'm not sure if it applies in the following cases. Is that true? And so I would start to break this up in your mind 
what do I do if I don't even know where to start? And then you can ask a very specific question to try and give yourself a view of what does the ocean even look like? How big is it? Is it dangerous? Is it wet? Uh, do people use it? Just try and give yourself um, some idea of what that framework looks like. And then you should move very quickly towards productive questions where you try and explain, this is what I know, but I don't understand the following four points, or this is what I think I know. Is that true? But it's... It's not a, I'm not giving you a fully defined answer, but I would like to make a distinction between, for example, if I, if somebody asked me uh, to ask them questions about brain surgery, I know so little about it that I wouldn't even know how to, I couldn't ask a productive question right away. But what I would, the strategy that I would employ is first start to ask questions to establish the framework um, so that I put myself in a position that I can ask a reasonable question and then, or ask a productive question. And so I was listening to Yebba Bell's discussion as well. And I think that that was, he was trying to bring people who already knew something to say something. And then the question started to go in a direction and there was a, the whole, uh, everyone on the call started to move towards in one direction. And so I would make a distinction between productive questions and where you don't even know where to start, that becomes very difficult. But it's something that we're thinking about. I'm not sure if we'll manage it well by the end of the training. We will try, but uh, it's an important it's an important thing to work on. So, Mensch, uh, did that help? I hope so. So one of the things that we have been trying to figure out, just as Aruna said, is how do we host a session on how to ask questions? And uh, we're still trying to figure it out and we'll, we'll let you guys know once we're able to pull that off. So, uh, but thank you. Boris, Boris Hero, how are you today? I'm doing great, Cindy. Yeah, how is everything coming? Uh, it's hard, it's hard. Okay, I'm trying yes, give us details. The details. Mm. Yeah. I still don't know how to proceed with castle graphs. But I'm Story trying. gone? Say that again? I still don't know how to proceed with castle graphs. Okay. So in our group, we've decided to, to divide the tasks. Mm -hmm. And we, we are going to use different tools. Mm -hmm. So I got neural, neural networks, mm -hmm. so I'm going to try finding out mm -hmm. how it works, mm -hmm. and then maybe I'll figure it out or not, I don't know. You will figure it out, so the question you're supposed to be asking is how do we get, how do we help you uh, figure it out? Boris, were you able to submit, you were able to submit a GitHub, right? Yeah, and oh. they report too. You're also able to submit the report, yeah? yeah. Okay, so uh, we should be able to have a meeting room open today at the time, usually, have the tutorials where uh, either Malet or uh, Abu Bakr can just be available to answer your questions if there are any questions or any challenges that you're having. Would that be helpful, Boris? So yeah, you it can will ask. be so much helpful. It will be very helpful, yeah? Yeah. Okay, great. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to hear. Thank you, Boris. Christian, mm -hmm. you're up next. Christian's a new. Uh, morning, Cindy. Good, Good morning, morning, Christian. How are you today? I'm fine with you. I'm doing very well. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. Um, yesterday, I was able to, to submit my GitHub link. Mm -hmm. And I think um, I, I just finished our, the report right now, so I will submit it uh, during a few minutes. Um, mm -hmm. I think today I will have a meeting with my teammates mm -hmm. to try to, to discuss about causal graph and mm -hmm. what each of mm -hmm. us heard about it mm -hmm. and how to make things good. Mm -hmm. And maybe at the evening I will work on it. The non technical mm -hmm. assignment mm -hmm. and be able to submit it on time tomorrow. Okay. Do you have any specific challenges or blockers? Uh, I have challenge, I think. 
Okay. Because it's the first time I'm using Python to <laughs> to make a good graph, <laughs> but mm -hmm. I think um, about no, I think that is one just challenge. Just a challenge, okay? So uh, I hope you're able to join the support session around uh, around around the time we usually hold tutorials, okay? They just you can ask those questions, okay, about the causal graph and everything else. Yeah. Okay, Christian. Uh, wonderful. Uh, before I call up the next person, is there anyone here who doesn't have a group? Please just raise your hand. If you doesn't, if you don't have a group. Please just raise your hand. None? Okay. There's one person who's uh, groupless and uh, we'll, we'll find them. Uh, great. Let us uh, go to someone else. It would be very helpful if a lot of you guys were able to volunteer. That would be wonderful. So let us go to Nat Nile Teshome. Nat Nile, give us an update. Hey, Sydney. Hi, Nat. Hello. Hey, guys. Hello. Oh, sorry, I was talking when I was muted. Sorry, Nat Nile. We can hear okay. you. Please okay. go forward. Okay. Okay. Uh, I just submitted the uh, report in the GitHub link also. Uh, we, uh, we meet yesterday and uh, today also, today morning. Uh, uh, I think the challenges are, uh, it's somehow it's a new concept for me, basically. Uh, and uh, to understand the concept itself, what's causality interface, and uh, the understanding the data is also necessary. Uh, so uh, that's the, the big challenge for me. And uh, I think I, uh, we did the EDA part and we also submitted the report. Okay, great. Uh, so you, you're saying you submitted the GitHub link here to submit your interim report, is that what you're saying now? Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. Do you have any challenges that we need to know before before as you head towards the final submissions? Uh, yeah, basically it's uh, uh, it's not uh, uh, for me, I, I don't understand all the concept by itself. I have to dig more and uh, I have to ask uh, my colleagues for more uh, understanding. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's a wide it's, it's a broad concept for me, and uh, I'm uh, I'm working on that. Okay, I don't know. I keep getting muted. Okay, fine. Uh, how? One question I'd like to ask, and I think anyone else who can, who can respond here can tell me next, and I'll start with you, Nat Nile. How are you finding your new group dynamics? Do you feel like group work is helping? Do you do you find how would you rate your collaboration, in your opinion? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think uh, this is a good part for me, like working with a group. Uh, yeah, give me some, uh, uh, you know, to be uh, connected with others is it's a great thing. Uh, and uh, learning alone is somehow difficult. You, uh, I mm -hmm. was trying to figure out all things for myself. Uh, um, so working with others, you may be uh, somehow, uh, someone may understand that easily mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. you can get the answer from them and working with the group is uh, it's more, uh, it gives some uh, communication skills with others and mm -hmm. also it's, uh, support, supporting each other is a good uh, idea for them. Okay, so you're rating your group work this time uh, out of 10. What rating would you give it? Uh, uh, okay, let me, let me go with it. I will give eight for me. Okay, eight is good. Yeah, eight yeah, is good. Yeah. Okay, great. 
thank you, Natna. We always have to leave room for improvement, so I'm glad that you didn't give it a 10, but uh, great, okay? And please join in on the open Q&A session today, okay? Okay. Okay, Natna, thank you. Next up is uh, Steshi. Stella, are you here? Yes, good morning. Good morning. How are you, Stella? Uh, I'm doing good, actually. Yeah. Oh, and you sound like you're doing good. Okay, give us an update. What's going on with you on your end? Uh, for me, also, the session yesterday was really great, really mm -hmm. helpful. It, uh, mm -hmm. It clarified a lot of things. So thank you mm -hmm. to everyone who asked and answered questions. Mm. And uh, yeah, I think mm -hmm. for an update, I'll give an update in terms of uh, of our group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. because uh, the interactions we've had actually what helped mm -hmm. me understand yesterday. Yeah. So the questions we had were how to visualize that that graph, that causal mm -hmm. graph. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went through a lot of uh, ideas that you were mm -hmm. trying to implement. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, yesterday during the session, it, yeah. all, it all made sense. Mm -hmm. So at least now we have an initial graph. So I think mm -hmm. the only blockers uh, we might have, for mm -hmm. me, we've been installing packages because I'm working on a Windows machine. Okay. And it seems you just have to download everything when you mm -hmm. want to install. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, for today, I want to work on the non-technical Okay. before I carry on with the task two. So were you able to attend uh, yesterday's non-technical? Uh, not really. The tutorial? I didn't have power uh, really. the whole morning. Wow, that must have been very frustrating. So uh, the recording is already up on YouTube. You can just go to the Week 7 channel. Not just to you, Stella, but anyone else who didn't manage to make it to the tutorial yesterday. It was very engaging and very fun. At least I had fun, okay? I, I think uh, I think I can make not too bad of a teacher. But, and Yati obviously tag teamed. Thank you, Yati Anna. So, guys, if you aren't able to attend yesterday's session, please uh, check it out on YouTube. We also prepared a document. How many of you have found the tutorial document in your emails? Because I... Uh, how many people found the tutorial documents? Christian, good. Yuel, Samanj, uh, Deborah, Desmond, great, good. We prepared that document especially for you and with you in mind. So uh, you should uh, you should just look through it as well because it will give you a lot of insight into how to approach preparation for an interview. And uh, right now is the absolute best time to start thinking about things like that. Why? Because uh, we need to ensure that we don't just know our stuff, but we are also we are also able to present the fact that we know our stuff. So great. Uh, Arun has asked a question in the chat box. I think it's Arun. Uh, to what extent was the Bell's presence on the Q and A necessary to make the discussion useful? So, uh, Stacey, you said extremely necessary. Uh, would you like to qualify your statement? Uh, yeah, because I think his presence there was what uh, was what guided us to to whatever we were looking for. So okay. yeah, like he allowed you to get lost, say mm -hmm. whatever you are thinking in your mind, yeah, and then bring the concepts together in the end. Yeah. So whatever direction was still the right road. That's what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, Half Tom, I am going to see. I am going to see if it is recorded. If it is recorded, I'm going to find it in the chat box. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to upload it on YouTube. Then I'll share it with you. Okay. So that is good. Uh, great. So Half Tom, why don't you go next and tell us what's up on your end? Oh, your connection is bad. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, great. So let's go to someone next. 
Let's talk to two more people. Harriet. Harriet, are you here? CB Tender? Harriet, are you here? Harriet? Yes. Ah, Hello? Great. Hi, can you hear me? I'm in a noisy place. Oh, uh, okay. Place. But type, us, type for us your update on the chat box, okay? Jermaine, your turn. Jermaine? Hello. Hi, Jermaine. Tell us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the, the progress of their work. Okay. Yeah. Give us, a, you know, any, give us an update on how you're doing and any challenges you're facing. Yeah, I'm doing well. The challenge I've been facing is uh, like reaching out my member, uh, my colleague through the Google mm -hmm. Meet. Mm -hmm. but I've seen that Zoom works well than Google Meet, so we are using Zoom. So, and we had a meeting before mm -hmm. this. Standard. Why do you Why do you feel like Zoom works better than Google Meet? I'm curious. I don't know why Google doesn't work for me. Like it keeps loading when I try to to join with the PC mm. and oh. Zoom, Zoom works up. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, yes. Interesting. Wow. Great. Uh, thank you for uh, letting me know. But let, I don't think you've given us an action. You've just said you met with your group on Zoom and then? Yeah. Yeah, actually, mm -hmm. we've been trying to try to communicate since ah. Monday. So, mm -hmm. yeah. It happens mm. today morning, so mm -hmm. that's why we are starting to interact a little bit, having meetings and what. Uh, but so far, we are good. Mm -hmm. We've been able to submit our interim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, and we hoping we keep keep in touch and try to, to solve things out. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I hope you're able to attend the. Q and A session. So, Bereket and the uh, Semensh, you go next. You are like I have taken note of your comment in the chat box. Uh -huh. Bereket, good morning. You're up. Good morning. Yeah, uh, like for the technical part, like we have been working together, and it was really helpful when you are working in a group. Mm -hmm. Like you may get some clear ideas when you are working, mm -hmm. and. Sorry, gone. Uh, like yesterday, we submit. Uh, I have submitted yesterday. Yesterday, I have submitted the interim report in the GitHub link, like working on the AA community if you see something mm -hmm. on the portfolio. Mm -hmm. And like, uh, I, I just want to use another platform with like to deploy on Netlify. Mm -hmm. And uh, like, I have the previous ones that have deploy, uh, deployed and. Like now it was done on Marno stack and when I try like the environments were uh, when, I, when when I, my Siri was reset uh, my, the environment was not there and mm -hmm. I have to restart that one and like after like doing most of the parts when I try to deploy it it's mm -hmm. having a hard time for me and mm -hmm. like I couldn't uh, do uh, or finalize that one so I, I think uh, I will change that to the for the templates that you have given for me and mm -hmm. i'll try do, to do it on that mm -hmm. and th that's the challenge that i'm facing it, it takes a lot of time and, mm -hmm. uh, and i couldn't finalize that one mm -hmm. yeah that's the progress uh, i have okay it sounds like you're facing a number of challenges there as well so please make sure to join the open session okay okay, okay great thank you so much do you want to finish this for us before we go to the ama with the Deborah in the hot seat. Semenj, go on. Yes, I did it. So. Oh, oh, you already asked your question, yeah? Yeah. OK, great. Uh, Yosef, in the chat box, you're saying Google Meet is 10 times more efficient for terrible connections, and you are green. I am forever a Zoomer, but uh, this works just as well for me. So there's that as well. So I'm going to stop recording. Deborah, are you here? I really hope you are. I'm here, Cindy. Uh, group.